I'm going to show you how to use functions with parameters inside of game lab on code.org. So when I talk about functions with parameters, I'm talking about uh, this big block here that has the little spot in parentheses there, and this one here that has the spot in parentheses. So those are the parameters, the little in right there. But first I just need to set up something to play with. So I'm going to make a variable called blob, and I need to make him look like something. And I picked this guy out earlier. Where's my blob? Oh, I can't find him anymore. Let's see. Maybe because he's not an animal. He is a character. Okay, this bubbly thing would make a nice blob. And notice it has several frames, so that's why you can see that going on. And then I need to draw them on the screen. And when I do that, oh, I forgot to tell it to use that picture. All right, when I do that, you see that pattern gets stuck. In order to see it actually bubbling, we need a background. So let's put that inside the draw loop. And now we've got our little bubbly character. Now what I'd like to do is I want to turn him red. Let's see here, I'm looking for Sprite Tent. So I'm going to say make blob tint to red with a color in quotes. And I also want to put the word red on the screen. So first I'll make the all of my text quite a bit larger. And I'm going to put the word red on the screen. And I'm going to try to center it a little bit uh, sort of up here. And I want to actually make that look red too. So above where I choose it, I'm going to do a fill. That's the color of the text red. So let's see what this looks like. Uh, not as centered as I would like, but it's got the basic idea. Okay, good enough. Let's scoot it down a little bit. All right, so that took, the actual writing of the word took two lines, and the changing of the color took another line, and all three of them had red. So what I'd like to do is write a function that does all that for me. So I'm going to come here to functions. And uh, first I'm going to grab this one that has the n in parentheses, and I'm going to stick it uh, right here in the draw loop. And I'm going to call it change, because what I want it to do is change the color of things. And right here in parentheses I have to tell it what color I want it to change. I want it to change red. As of right now, the computer and the program, the website, has no idea what change means. So this big one is where I define what this function means. So you want to define that outside of your draw loop. I typically do it at the bottom. And I'm going to say change is always going to take a color. All right? So let's take all these guys and drag them down here. Okay, so um, whatever color that is written here in the code is going to get passed to the same location. So what I want to do here is just put the word color without quotes. Same here. And the same here. And if this is the first time you've seen functions with parameters, this is going to look a little strange. But I'll walk you through it. Okay, so it's working, and let's talk about why. Okay, whenever uh, the program sees line 6 that says change function with the parameter red, when I say parameter, I just mean what extra information are you giving the program to run. It's going to jump down here to the definition on line 8, and it's going to say whatever they put in parentheses, we're going to pass it to all the spots that share this name. So if it sees color inside the definition, it's going to put whatever's here. So it sees color the first time, it puts red. It sees color to fill the text, it puts red. It sees color to actually write the word on the screen, it puts red. And that doesn't seem extra useful just yet, but what it allows us to do is if we want to change something from red to blue, now it's going to pass the word blue all the way down to here, here, 
and here with just one change. And this gets even cooler when combined uh, with um, some conditionals. So why don't we say if the B key is pressed, then change to blue. And I'll copy that and paste it. Control C, Control V. And now we'll say if the R key is pressed, change red. So you'll see nothing until you press B and then R. And if you wanted to have them show up all the time, you could just take the straw sprites and put them back up here. Right, let's try that. B, R, and to add even more colors, all you'd have to do is copy this and paste it. And you could say O for orange. In this case, if they press O, it's going to run this change function, which you see here. But it's going to pass the word orange in quotes into every spot that you see color right here, right here, and right here. Let's run that. R, B, O. It's funny that orange kind of looks greenish, but I think what we're doing is we're tinting the eyes and then, and then converting from there. Uh, let's try, uh, what's another? Well, let's just see what happens with green. Red, blue, G for green. And so this is an example of functions with parameters.